Growing spirulina at home is not an easy task. But with the right kind of knowledge and tools, it can definitely be easy. You can learn more about it here at Spirulina Society. Hello everyone, my name is Anya and I'm here to talk about spirulina. So spirulina is a blue-green alga. It is the most ideal food for humankind, according to the United Nations and World Health Organization. Spirulina is rich with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It is a plant-based source of complete protein. There are two forms of spirulina, dried and fresh. The fresh form is far more superior because it's completely unprocessed. It is still alive and contains enzymes our body needs to absorb nutrients. So the dried one is basically dead and cannot compete with the fresh one on the nutritional values. Also, dried spirulina has a strong fishy flavor and smell that's not pleasant for some. While fresh spirulina is odorless and has almost no taste. Spirulina can easily be grown indoors and only requires a small amount of water and space. Spirulina production uses about 200 times less land and water than meat production. If grown in domestic space, there is no arabolan required. And the carbon footprint is extremely low because this cuts out logistics fundamentally. By performing photosynthesis under the optimal condition, Spirulina can be harvested daily with its ability to grow at speed. Growing spirulina at home yields several benefits such as reducing carbon emissions and waste, saving money and resources, and improving well-being. You can have an enclosed environment and control what goes into the cultivation system to prevent heavy metals contamination that can typically be found in commercial farms. Since spirulina is nutrient dense, consuming it daily could help prevent cancer, lower blood pressure, reduce cholesterol, and many more. Spirulina Society is a project that aims to normalize the sustainable and efficient cultivation system for an urban lifestyle where people produce their own food, maintain their well being, cut down waste, and reduce the ecological footprint simultaneously. It provides open source tools and knowledge for domestic spirulina cultivation. The 3D models of the cultivation tools are available for people to download digitally and connect with their local manufacturers around the globe. The equipment list and information on how to get the tools, how to set up, harvest and other useful tips are available on the website. The 3D printed collection consists of lit and harvesting funnel that can be fitted with locally and readily available containers. The various sizes of the lit function as a growth accelerator, providing a light source, preventing contamination by allowing air ventilation, and connecting tubes for agitation and harvest. The harvesting funnel enables the process of straining the culture, which can then be consumed instantly after forming into a thick paste. Overall, this project proposes tools as products where the lids act as ambient lighting and the appearance of the harvesting funnel resembles everyday objects for users to feel familiar rather than alienated with this novel ritual. This project promotes local and on-demand production by shifting away from the mass production model and use the distributed model where it focuses on the movement of data and the use of local material supply chains. One of the design criteria for the 3D models is to use the least amount of material possible. The structure of the models is designed to be printed without any supporting material, which means that there's almost no waste in the production process. The release of toxic fumes can be avoided by using PLA filament, as it is a bio-based type of plastic, unlike its counterparts such as ABS or PET, which are derived from fossil fuels. The 3D models and instructions are available on the website now, so just go check them out and let's get growing. <laughs>